So I've been editing videos all. Uh, so I've been editing videos all day. <laughs> anyway, yes I will. So I've been editing videos all day, and I'm like kind of a VQ fan. I'm not too hyped about it. But anyway, these guys are working on the supercharger for the VQ. We have a VQ owner himself right here working on a VQ. My man. Hashtag C trombone boys, what you doing? <laughs> Anyway, what is the what's going on? How you guys been doing today with this install? Well, as you can see, supercharger is in, or pro charger, whatever. Pro charger, not a super. Belt driven force induction. Okay, okay, technical Simplified terms. Simplified it. Technical terms. Um, so yeah, we had to replace the manifold, use the factory our throttle bodies, run a ton of vacuum lines, oh. rearrange wiring. I didn't realize these were factory throttle bodies. That's yeah. pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Okay. And it came with a fancy little overflow. Nice. We still got a few things to button up. Uh, we have to do, there's a bypass that comes off of this and then runs into this little sucker right there. Mm -hmm. um, we have to hook up the piping for the intakes, which I think sit down in here. Mm -hmm. And then the pipe comes over into the throttle bodies there. You have to run the relay yeah, for finish firing in the that pump. and the pump for the intercooler air exchanger. Yeah, because this is your pretty much like an intercooler. It's right. a water to air, so yeah. this is water to air. There's no water actual intercooler. Yeah, if you take yeah. these off, you can see it's like a radiator inside of it. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So, ah, so out of one out of one one out of ten, what do you think as far as the install? How did it go? It's really not that bad six it's just yeah it's just a lot yeah a lot of brain power yeah yeah like my head hurts a lot right now <laughs> a lot of brain power but you guys did I, mean, I will say their instructions are uh pretty thorough obviously they're it's hard with yeah. with to make an instruction manual but i guess i mean they did as good as they could yeah. um there's a lot of stuff that you still have to kind of figure out on your you know in your, uh, but but like right. i would just like to point this out okay so there's a couple things that you have to drill out, you know, the fuel pump, stuff like that. You have to drill some stuff out in that. Stillin sends you both drill bits with tape already on it to how far Legit. you have to drill in. Shit. Stillin. Stillin, thank you so much. You are the shit. Stillin is and awesome. And they also sent me this big boy. And uh, in the instructions, it says you might have to bend the wrench. Well, it <laughs> really? came pre-bent. No. So. Are you serious? Yeah. They already figured what? that out. What? Yo, that's Solved nuts. that whole problem. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah, because there's three bolts underneath the manifold. You can see one here. The other one's like right here, and then there's another one back here. Whoa. And there's no way to get your yeah, hand so in there. how did you get in there? That huh? long wrench. That long wrench. And the reason it's bent is to go over top of the fuel reel. That is cool. Stillin is officially like... They, they got my trust. Yeah, I mean, they did good. Um, to think about stuff like that, like, yeah. you know, like, well, that's pretty dope. To have stuff like that, they ran into those problems in the past and fixed it. But they'll let I'm you glad know they that, fixed it. Let, they'll let you know that they paid attention. They actually went to install it, and they actually went yeah. through, like. Yeah, you can definitely tell that there's a lot of revisions made. Right. The uh, coolant reservoir is completely different in the pictures. Yeah, it's like a plastic um, kind of bunk-looking hmm. reservoir. There's a couple of different fittings and hoses that are different than, you know, the instructions that are definitely better quality, stuff that had gone bad in the past. So, um, All right. this thing's pretty sweet. I'm cool. excited Their to game. hear it. Yeah. I like it. But. Cool. You gonna put one on yours now? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> anyway, guys, we will be back tomorrow. It's five o'clock now. We're going home. Guys are tired. I'm tired. So we'll just we'll be back in the morning. Hopefully, we they can get it together and we'll vlog some more. So. What we got going on, Dan? She done. Yeah. Um. So we've got Stillin, uh, supercharger installed on this bad boy. Uh, the only thing we're waiting on is the tune. It's like the base map um, for this thing. And then we can run her and see what she does on the dyno. Um, we've bled the system. We've got the pump uh, kind of circulating all of the intercooler All the vacuum system. lines and yeah. coolant lines and all that stuff. We just popped this on there to see how it looked because we're going to take it off. Make sure none of the injectors or anything else is leaking. Left the bumper off so we can check all the lines down through here, make sure none of that's leaking. But for the most part, we're there. We still have to put on the uh, 
strut tower bar, the cross brace, whatever you want to call it. And then we can finish button all that up. Then we can get the bumper back on, get the inner fenders back in. And then uh That's it. That's 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 about it. So we've been doing this for spent pretty much all day yesterday and then the just got done. Day. Yeah. First part of the day today, but so End of the day Wednesday was just getting it on the lift. I got the fuel pump out and I got the fuel pump stuff situated. Um, Thursday, Dan and I both knocked it out, got everything pretty much done. And then today we came in, finished buttoning up the intake stuff. Uh, we had to run a relay. We got all the wiring stuff done because there's a pump down in here. That's actually this little guy right here. Um, this is actually the pump for the coolant system for the intercooler system that cools all of this fancy beautiness. But, yep. So. So now we just need it to run, and then we can double check everything, button everything up, and then that's it. All right, so we got our tune back. Josh is working on that and kind of looking at the tune. He's kind of being a little nosy. Um, but we are ready to start this thing up. So whenever Josh is ready, let's see First what happens. Yeah. I'm hype. Super hype. It's one of those like a little bit, you know, like a little bit nervous, kind of excited to oh, see what's going on. I'm just happy, you know. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of lines that we ran. Realistically, the kit is, I wouldn't say easy to install because it would be a whole lot, e like this wouldn't be a driveway install. You Granted, so? you could, like could I would, like I would figure you out definitely it in, my, would. in my driveway, but um, <laughs> it definitely helps having a shop. Definitely need a second pair of hands for a few of the parts. Um, yeah. But yeah. What's up? You guys want a stealing kit for your 370Z? Come to Driver Motorsports and we'll hook you up. Put that in a commercial. Hey, VQ fanboy right here. That's why he said yeah. that. That was, that was good, CJ. He drives a VQ. Yeah. When you drive trumpets, you speak about trumpets. You, you worship trumpets. Yep. Do you like brass? Are you like, are you a brass fan? <laughs> Did you play tuba in high school? No, I was in drumline. Yeah. Drumline? Yeah. Well, now you're a VQ master. Cut the footage of, of Dan tearing it up. I was gonna cut the footage of like. <laughs> Josh? Nope. Hey, Josh. Probably plug the fuel pump in. Hey, that wasn't my job. It wasn't Dan. You're the tuner, man. Our <laughs> emotions are all over the place. It's like, oh. Oh, God. CJ's about to have a heart attack for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why this is stressing him out. See, oh, what I tell you. What I tell you, oh, CJ? 